Alrighty, we are back with more Toho Puppet Dance. Nope, that's not the game. Toho Mon Heart Gold. <laughs> Old habits and whatnot. So, uh, the game looks a bit different. I have turned off screen filtering, which uh, makes the game look much less like it is smeared in Vaseline. Um, on the other hand, it obviously looks a bit more pixelated, but I think it looks substantially better like this. As for the weird thing on the borders, with I... I the only way I've seen to fix that is by switching to OpenGL rendering, which brings back the hated black dots that were making my life in Desmoon, uh, hell. So, I think this is preferable to, I mean, the, the alternative, which I can just, you know. The alternative being this. You know, it looks a bit better, but you get these weird black dots. I don't know what causes it, but I think that is much more distracting than the weird border. Um, your mileage may vary. I suppose I'm interested in hearing if, uh, people have any solutions to this, or if, um, you actually do prefer this. For me personally, I, I'd rather have software rendering in the weird border. It looking slightly crustier, but just not having those awful black dots everywhere. So, and that's, that's at rendering scale at 16x. If I put it down to 1x, then the black dots become massive black lines and look substantially worse. Aside from that... Uh, getting back on topic with the actual game itself, rather than all the circumstances surrounding it. Uh, obviously, my team is looking a bit different. I went and caught a bunch of stuff on the route that I'm not supposed to go to. I know that now. I now know that I'm not supposed to go to Route 49. Uh, and, as you can see, I've changed up the team a bit. Uh, obviously, this isn't going to be my permanent team. I've got two beast types here, for Christ's sake. But... And obviously, like, kind of two grass types. I mean, Takane herself is not grass, but uh, her only move right now is grass. So, I mean, she, she, I think she has something else, because I think everyone learns something at level 5. Yeah, she learned sand attack. Wow. Uh, but yeah, this is this is the team for right now. Oof. Um, Larva is bad, because Absorb is bad. <laughs> Uh, when she gets a move that isn't Absorb, maybe she will be better, but for the time being, she's here because I like her and for no greater reason. Uh, honestly, kind of same with Momiji. I'm, I'm not, uh, entirely convinced that she's gonna be here for the long run, but she does have Steel Typing, which is something unique, and, uh, I just like Momiji. Also got Mike, Kyoko, uh, and Takane. Uh, yeah, so this is, this is what I've caught. I mean, I can go to my box and show some of the other stuff that I caught in the interim. Uh, and then we can head the correct direction, because I know the correct direction now. I'm sure that many people are going to, uh, have strong words in the last episode, but what, what, what can I do about it? I got the, uh, the Minoriko and Shizuha, got the Aki sisters, got the Lilies, uh, got Nazrin, Daiose, Shen, Tokiko, um... Not anything else. God, why does why does Diose in particular looks look like she's been flattened? I guess her side ponytail makes her head look wider. Looks very silly though. Looks looks like she got put in the hydraulic press. Anyway, so this is the team that I'm going to be running with for the time being until something shows up that's more interesting. I grinded them all up to level five ish. Obviously, uh, Alice is a bit higher than that because she started at level 5, but I figure level 5 is a good place to, to get them all to as we uh, head the correct direction. Oh, you're just telling me about running shoes. That's fine. And uh, we can go up. Nope, not here. We, we have to go up here and then turn left, and then we can go where we need to go, I think. And uh, I'm sure I missed something. I, I'm, I don't know. I feel like I got all the rare spawns, but it's hard to tell for certain. Um, I mean, I could fight you, but you're flying type, and I think that's bad for me. I don't really have a lot of good stuff to deal with flying types, unfortunately. Well, I mean, I suppose it's not. Is Vine Whip resisted? I don't know the type chart here. Yes. Yes, it is. So, we are out. We're Earth type, luckily, so that's not going to do too much. But later, unfortunately, I didn't get, like, money from anything I did. <laughs> which means that I don't have, uh, don't have more bowls. Mm-hmm. PP. Very funny. I just lost, so I'm trying to find more puppets. Alright, you. Alright, you. Uh, and here he is. It's Joey, his Nazrin. Uh, your beast type. I don't really know what that means in the grand scheme of things. I know that flying is super effective against beast type. Uh, I don't think grass is, unfortunately. Grass in general seems to be not the strongest typing this early on, but... 
Who knows, maybe that'll change as time goes on. I don't really know. I assume the Violet City Gym's still gonna be, uh, flying type. Because it's still, still, flying type's still in the game. Whatever it's called. I think it's still called flying, even. So, you know. But when you really think about it, shouldn't all Toho characters technically be flying type? Huh? Huh? Um... <laughs> It's silly. <laughs> Nazarin call. Uh, alright. We've defeated Youngster Joey. Will you tell me that your Nazarin is in the top percentile of Nazarins? Yeah, whatever. Sure, Joey. At least I finally have the phone number of someone that's not an old man or my mom. He won't. Okay, that's fine. Does he have to call you to tell you that? That might be something he calls you for. I know, I know, I know. Look. It's going to be annoying that I go down to heal every single time, but I'm already doing it. Next time I won't. I just don't have enough. Once I get more money and can actually buy potions, it won't be that big of an issue. But if I have to choose between potions and orbs, I'm going to choose orbs every day of the week. <laughs> Which is a very silly, contextless quote. Uh, but, yeah, no. Orbs are more, more important. I want to catch more things. I didn't encounter a shiny, unfortunately. I mean, that's not... That's not uh, unexpected, you know. I, we're, we're still dealing with pre-Gen 6 shiny rates, and I didn't really encounter that much to begin with. But who knows, maybe before this battle... Before this battle... Yeah, fuck it. Before this next battle ends, we're gonna find a shiny. Damn. I tried to call my shot. It didn't work. <laughs> Unfortunate. No shinies for me today. Alright, we're, we're just gonna battle this chance. She's level 3. Hopefully she doesn't have an Orin Berry. They're so fucking annoying to grind on because they're goddamn Orin Berries. I hate them so much. Let's see. No, she doesn't have an Orin Berry. Lucky me. I fought like 10 in a row that had Orin Berries, so I thought they were like guaranteed to have one, but I guess it's not. Not guaranteed at all, actually. Damn, almost leveled up. Nice try, Takane. Alright, let's go. No, I keep trying to do that. I keep wanting to go up that ledge. What's going to be here? I didn't really run around on this route too much, because I think it has the same encounters as the uh, route to the right of... The, the Cherry Blossom? What the fuck is it called? I, I don't remember. The Starter City. That isn't actually the Starter City. Um, as far as I can tell, it's still the same encounter table. So we're just going to uh, we're just going to go this direction. I should probably be using Eternity because like, oh here's the Orin Berry. Should probably be using Eternity because she needs better moves much more than Takane does. At the same time, Takane could definitely use a stab attack. No sand attack does not count. Uh, let's switch out. Let's switch out to to Larva. Why not? And uh, hopefully we'll get a level. I wonder is uh, is is the move levels. Are the move levels, I don't know what they're actually called, uh, are they standardized? Because I can't help but notice that all of my puppets learned a second move at level 5, as far as I can tell. I mean, I appreciate that sort of stuff, because it's not like I'm going to be able to look that up anywhere anyway, but I don't know. I think that's how it worked in, um, fucking, what's it called? Uh, 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 puppet dance performance, right? I think. I think, I think, I think. Alright, cool. Takane's up to six. Doesn't do much. I should definitely take her out of the party. Or, well, out of the front of the party, considering her level. Uh, and put out Larva, sure. Larva needs levels. Larva needs levels. Badly. Alright, fight this little showed. <laughs> uh, you're a puppet trainer, right? Then you have to battle. Unfortunately, that does seem to be the laws of this world. Okay, my Mikey. This <laughs> is... I have a Mikey of my own, don't you know? Uh, flying type. I think uh, I think Steel is good against flying type, if I'm not mistaken. That being said, I think Beast is weak to flying type, so dangerous gambit. But I oh, never mind. It's not. I'm wrong. I'm stupid. I don't my, know my type charts at all. I know this much at least. I learned this much when I accidentally almost killed Eternity trying to catch her, because I was leveling up Momiji at that time. What else do you have? Are I as the Pidgeys of this world? They seem too strong to be Pidgeys of this world, but again, maybe that's just puppet dance performance brain rot kicking in. Alright, Larva. Mm -hmm. 
I'm definitely not as knowledgeable about Toho music as, as I used to be. I can scarcely recall what this, uh, what what song this is in range of. Anyway, this is going to be long and kind of tedious, but at the very least, Larva is going to win this. Nice. Going well. Can? No, no. Nothing Nazarin does can really affect me all that much. Is it that, is it that fucking, no, no. Beast type is resisted by nature, just in general. It's not, um, what's it called? It's not, uh, it's not flying type that resists, unless it's a double resist, which is possible. But I don't know that for certain. So we're just going to uh, do that. Larva is no worse for wear, but she also doesn't do any damage, as is uh, abundantly obvious now. She, she, she's quite weak, but at least she lives. God, I hope I can get her a new move at level 10 or something. I mean, I'd like it before then, but... What are you doing, Larva? Or Clarva? Okay, Lee. Where do we want to go, Larva? <sighs> she says she wants to leave, but doesn't do anything about it. Typical. Oh, you're not a trainer. Okay. Are you going to have a Larva of your own? Are you- oh, bug trainers are fairy- fairy trainers in this game. That's cute. I suppose that makes sense. Lily Black is dark type. I don't really know what that means in terms of types, to be honest with you. Um, I mean, this is Gen 4, so if we're going by, like, actual Gen 4 games, technically Steel type would be super effective against dark, but, uh, I mean, this is working out fine, so I'll just leave- just leave Larva in. She seems like a bit of a tank. I don't know if that's like her typing or her stats or what. Maybe a little bit of all of that. But seems pretty decent, all things considered, when you take into account her abysmal damage. It also like feels much worse because of how long uh, Absorb's animation is. I'm probably just going to turn off battle animations, to be honest. I think Gen 4 is more than slow enough without them. No need to punish myself and use use battle animations to double the length of this fucking playthrough. <laughs> it's also why I'm not saving on camera. <laughs> I don't know what was up with Gen 4 and its fucking save times just being the most obscene shit in the world. I have no clue what was going on with those games that caused them to be like, yeah, 20-30 seconds, that's a fair amount of time to have to fucking save. It's just absolutely ridiculous and i'm sure like modders probably have learned what the cause of that is but it's uh for as much as people want to act like pokemon only really became shall we say less than technically competent uh circa gen 6 you know circa the 3d games there was little stuff like this that's like eh. <coughs> I think there were just lower standards for DS games' technical competency. The tech- the, the switch to- I almost said 6D. <laughs> Six-dimensional Pokemon games coming soon. Oh, Larva learned a new move, and it's a fucking flying stab. God bless. Um, <laughs> the 3D games definitely exacerbated the uh, technical issues with Pokemon, but- I also kind of can't help but feel that Pokemon has always just not been the most, um, technically, technically strong, you know? I think it comes down to, like, them having more time and more simplicity when it comes to 2D games as opposed to 3D games, but lest we forget that Gen 1 is, like, one of the most broken games that, like, actually sold well ever, you know? Uh, who should go out? I guess Kyoko can go out. Wait, you learned something at level 7. Fucking... Why didn't you? You don't know anything. Why Why do you suck, Alice? Learn something new. I guess it's not just uh, unified levels. It's just that everyone learns something at level 5, perhaps. It's Sunny. I don't have one of you, Sunnies. Alright. Uh, I mean, we don't really have move choice here. All right, doing doing good damage there, Kyoke. I feel like crits are weirdly prevalent in this game, at least. 
that's been my experience. I've been a lot, doing a lot of critting, and uh, luckily none of it has come at like a really bad time or anything, but I, it's, I'm just counting the days until I fail a catch because of a crit. Anyway, we got uh, a new addition to the decks, hopefully. Don't break out, you little bastard. You're just a fairy. Alright. Sunny's data was added to the puppet decks. One of the three light fairies is capable of refracting light. Cool. She's a fire type, that might be useful. I don't really know who I'd want to get rid of. I'll admit that the main reason I'm keeping Mike in my party in addition to Momiji is because I like Momiji, but I also like Mike, but also like Also, I'll just be real with you, like a large part of it is the fact that Mike has uh pickup. It's gotten me, like, a potion, it's gotten me a repel, it's probably gotten me other things that I've just forgotten about, you know? So it's worth wasting a party slot on a, a member that I'm probably going to get you rid of eventually. Anyway, Kyoko hopefully can get to level- Ah, uh, she probably won't quite get to level 6 off of this, but she'll get close, I think. If this were a trainer Pokémon, it'd be different, but, uh, it is not. I've been in this battle for long enough to think that it might be, though. There we go. Alright. Goodbye, Sunny. Kyoko got... No, not quite. Uh, probably need to get her out of the front of the party now. Uh, I guess Larva can go, but... No, Mike can go. No, we don't. we don't have an item. There we go. Get Mike back in. Hello, sir. Dark Cave. I, I don't have Flash, I'm afraid. Another potion. Lovely. All right, let's get going. I assume that uh, later on, uh, probably, I would I would hope that Momiji and Mike might get different subtypings or something to make them different from each other, because I do like both of them. I feel that, brother. I feel that. I, like, walked for a whole hour yesterday. It was like an hour and a half. I also wasn't really that tired, because it was nice out. All right, let's battle this strange young man. Let's battle this fairy enthusiast. Oh my god, he has so many puppets. What the hell? Uh, 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 uh. I mean, we don't really have much in the way of choices here. We're just going to tackle the fairies. Unfortunately, we don't have an experience share, so our wounded puppets will uh, have to remain in the back. I guess we can switch one in and then switch train it. Sea Star. Uh, let's put in. Uh, who was close to leveling? Was it Momiji or was it Kyoko? I think it was Kyoko was close to leveling, right? So we'll put her out for a second. I assume water is still in the game, considering grass and fire are. <clears throat> Even if grass has been renamed to nature, I think. Uh, so let's put in. Fuck it. Let's put in Clarva. <laughs> Fucking Clarva. Uh, I've, it's the best, it's the most missed part of Tohomon, really, is pronouncing the C's and EX's and all that business. Why is wind... I mean, no, because it's flying. Wait, that's... Wait, wind and flying are different? Hold up. Hold up. Yeah, just let me check something real quick. Aren't you flying type? Am I crazy? I might be crazy. No, no, you are flying types. So that's not fucking stab. Well... Well, why are wind and flying different types? How strange. Very, very strange. I don't know what all the types are. Obviously, but... I guess we will have to just live with the fact that I still don't have a stab. Is it at least a good move? Uh, Kluna. Did, did, did... Kyoko really didn't level up from... I mean, it was level 2, I suppose. I suppose I can't be that indignant about a level 2 not leveling up. Um, Luna is probably a light type. No, no, if there were a light type, Sunny would have been. Is, is Electric still in? I don't know. Uh, so fucking. I, <laughs> I really like. I really like Larva's animation in particular, where she's just waving her arms. I guess Alice is doing it as well. And Mike is just stone still. She is uh, unflappable. <sighs> no, I was putting Mike. I was, gonna, I was thinking, like, maybe I should put in Takane and. See if she's going to use an electric move. But even if she is electric type, she won't have electric moves this early. So let's tackle. Good. Good damage. Should be able to take her out next time. 
Unless that was like a super high roll. Nope, we're good. Good stuff, Nike. Will Kyoko level up? Thank God. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> oh God, you still got stuff. I'll keep battling, I guess. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> All right. Um, I mean, you're probably water type, right? Unless there's ice type in the game, which is possible. One day I will learn the type chart. <clears throat> Unfortunately, today is not that day. Actually, I think there's a document in the fucking mod folder that uh, has the, the type chart in it, so maybe I'll look over that in between episodes and all that. But <clears throat> for the time being, I will remain in blissful ignorance. Mike has grown to level 6. Good job, lass. Can't Im Yeah, I was going to say, I can't imagine you're going to learn another move immediately. Would have been nice, but... Would have been surprising as well. All right, sure. Okay, that is a terrible pickup line, young man. <laughs> hey, I I I throw some berries sometimes. All right, I doubt you're going to tell me anything that I care about, but that's okay. Damn. Uh, maybe it'll be something I can catch. Maybe it'll be a new fairy. No, that appears to be Tokiko. I mean, I could catch Tokiko, but why would I? I've already got one. Um, I mean, we could try to pick a fight, I guess. I don't think it's going to go very well. Okay, no, so so I do have double resistance to uh, Beast-type on, um... What's her, what's her fucking name? Uh, Eternity. That makes sense. Talk to me, you fucking nerd. Found a good puppet in Dark Cave. Oh, yeah, I guess I could go back. I, I'll, should I do Dark Cave now? Maybe I should do Dark Cave now. I want to heal up before I do... Don't you dare battle me, you little bastard. Okay, uh, VS Recorder. What? What does the VS... Is this for fucking competitive battles? Who cares? <laughs> Shut up. Why Why do you think I would care about that at all? Nope. I. How would I do that? This is my first... I mean, I guess he couldn't know that, but he should. Alright, let's get to the center. And then let's head back to the, the cave, I guess. See if we can find some cool stuff there. <clears throat> We're gonna talk to everyone here, of course. Very important, just to make sure that uh, just to make sure that I'm not missing out on any good, any of the good shit, you know. In particular, this strange man by the PC. He looks weird. Mm. Uh huh. Okay. Uh. Uh, oh, oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh Christ. Uh, uh, baby. Baby. <laughs> it's baby orb. Mm. Yep, that's how I feel about you, sir. <laughs> oh, uh, 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 danger. <laughs> Uh, d <laughs> danger damp. Probably would have been better the other way around, but that's okay. <laughs> no, no, oh god, oh Christ, please no, no, goodbye, I'm not one of your fan. Holy shit, shut up. Good lord. Yep. Traded puppets, yeah. I, I don't, uh, I don't see, I don't know when I'm going to get a trade. What the fuck? Roughneck. Yep. Okay, I suppose that's for online features that I just don't remember anything about. Okay, let's go see what's in the dark cave, and then uh, probably call it there. But luckily, we can just hop down here. One day we'll get cut. I don't know when you get cut in this game. I know you get it from like you get like the TM from Bell Sprout Tower, right? I think. Are they going to rename Bell Sprout Tower in this game? Because they should. All right. What kind of fun things am I going to get in here? <laughs> Kisame, yeah. That <laughs> Noted bucket gremlin Kisame makes sense. Right, we're not doing too much damage. I assume she's going to be part dark type. 
One would, one would hope. Maybe, uh, I don't know, water, because you put water in buckets. To be fair, you could put a lot of things in buckets, I would know. Don't ask me what the implication of that is, because I didn't know when I said it. No, ro fuck. God damn it. Oh, it ate my inputs. Oh, oh Parson. Nice. Look, I know that's supposed to be, like, you know, her envious aura or whatever. It, it looks like she's just smelly. It looks like she just stinks. Which, to be fair with you, I mean, if... It, I wouldn't necessarily say Parsi is, like, the one I expect to be the stinkiest of all Toho. What did I say? I knew it would happen eventually. I knew it would happen eventually. Alright, is there anything I can do in here? I can probably, like, try to navigate... What the fuck is this weird rock? Oh, son of a... I can probably just try to navigate around here. See if there's, like, a, a cool... A cool dog... That's that's where my brain went. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Aha! There it is, the cool dog. <laughs> the coolest dog of all, a fucking potion. <laughs> Look, man, sometimes I start saying a sentence, and I have no idea how I'm going to finish it. It's just as much of a surprise to me as it is to anyone else when I stop. Oh, uh, it's Rumia. Look at her go. Maybe I'll actually catch her. She's flying so high above the ground. Maybe, maybe this will be the one that I finally catch. She's obviously going to be dark type. That should go without saying. Ew. Ew, she licked... Oh, for fuck's sake. What even is the paralysis chance on fucking lick? It's not good. Um, let us try to catch her. Hopefully it'll actually work. We still have a decent number of orb. Her we did! Woo! Wanders about in an orb of darkness that she can't actually see beyond. Yep. Yeah. It's the, the two ways Rumia can be portrayed. Horrible man-eater or fucking idiot. <laughs> two genders. Uh Personally, I'm more a fan of fucking idiot. Uh, maybe it's just because I, I really empathize with that particular point of view. I'm not I'm not really trying to catch anything right now. I should also switch Mika out of the front of the party since she's uh, low leveled, or not low leveled, since she's um, paralyzed. That's the word I was looking for. All right, let's see. Is there anything at all left for me to do in here without uh, without TMs? No. Nope. All right, so that's that's good. Let's just get back into town, and then we'll call it, I think. Another Rumia. Yeah, Rumia being the Zubat of the world does make sense, doesn't it? These are all things I'm sure I knew at one point, but I just have long since forgotten. Hey, Steel Stool, Stupor Stupor, pick up. Whew, that was a good one. Steel is still super effective. That's what I was trying to say uh, against Dark, so that's good to know. <clears throat> We are pre-Gen 6. I think that's when that changed. I think that's when that changed. And also, Steel having, like, a, a Dark-type resistance as well. I'm pretty sure that change was entirely made, so Aegislash would not be, like, the most busted shit in the world. And they only kind of succeeded. It wasn't, like, the most busted shit in the world. Still, like, a very good Pokemon. Oh my god, she has Poison Body. <laughs> oh, it's so annoying, this cave. Everything in here is slightly obnoxious. Don't kill her. Thank you. I don't think you could have, even if you tried. That wasn't a challenge, for the record. I'm not going to take another swing, because it's very, very possible. If not plausible, that I crit or high roll it. I don't even know if high rolling is a thing in this game, to be honest. I haven't noticed moves doing different damage, but I'm not smart, so that could be a contributing factor. Just because I don't notice something doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Alright. I don't remember. Just I think Gen 4 is like... I think this is when they stopped... Ooh, Miasma on Earth. Interesting. Um, I think this is when they stopped making it so that, like... 
Poison... I think Poison still affects you out of battle, but doesn't kill you, right? I think. I think, I think, I think. And we'll find out. We'll see if Momiji lives through this. Yes, okay. That is correct. I think this was the... I think Gen 3 was the last gen where Poison could kill you out of battle, if I recall correctly. Uh, let's put in Takane... I don't know. I feel like I'm going to switch Takane out for... Uh, uh, what's her name? Uh, Yamame. So let's put in Kyoko instead. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. I do like Takane, but I don't know. I don't, also don't know what levels they evolve at or anything like that, so we'll have to see. Gonna gonna see. Gonna go catch some stuff in between uh, recordings here and then see what my team winds up looking like. Who knows? Maybe I'll catch a shiny. Ah, uh, you're gonna fucking resist this, so I don't care. <laughs> I mean, look, if Momiji was alive, I would have just switched her in and bonked you with the, the steel type, but she is on death's door, and I don't really think that it's worth killing her for nothing. Bold statement, I know. Whew, all right. Let's rest. Oof. Ooh, all right. Coolio, we are done now. And uh, with all that being said, this has been Solaire. In between episodes, I'm going to go clean up the routes that I uh, have missed. I mean, not missed, but, you know, the ones that I kind of bolted through to get to Violet City a bit quicker. Uh, and then, hopefully next episode, maybe we'll challenge Faulkner? I, I don't know. Try to get everyone up to, like, seven or eight, maybe. But until then, this has been Sarah, and I hope you have a wonderful day.